<laughs> hey guys, welcome back. It's day two on the uh, ceramic coating process. Now, unfortunately, JD is so efficient that he just sort of got straight to work before I could get up here and see what he was doing this morning. So, how's the car looking? Well, I've got the first coat down. Definitely a lot more gloss. Well, actually, you said that's the first coat of the ceramic protection. That's the base coat. So um, it's SiO2, which is um, silica oxide. Yep. Which means it's more glass than ceramic, but it's next level. Were you happy with how the car sat overnight? Um, yes. It was still on my mind most of the day. Yep. Um, no, I'm happy with it. I just think it needs the, the protection on it. The fact that it's been resprayed before, it really needs that extra protection to keep it like this. It's, dude, it's just looking so good. Yeah. I, I come in last night and I actually, I probably spent the best part of an hour just looking at it. It's, um, and it had, didn't have the coating on. Now, I did, as soon as JD arrived this morning, I did come up with him. Um, you actually showed me how slick. Slickness, yes. Can we show the camera now or is it yeah. not going to mess up what you're doing? No, no, exactly. Yeah. So this is what you were saying last night with the, co well, sorry, this morning, with what you did yesterday, it sort of, it smoothed the paint yeah. out almost. Well, the rejuvenation correction pr process enhances the gloss, obviously. Yes. The, the flatter or um, you get, the smoother you get the paintwork, that's where the gloss comes out, the metallic um, pops, yep. the flakes just pop out. The colours on this is ridiculous. But what I, with the first, it's very slick when you do your correction. So after the first um, layer of the ceramic, it gets a little bit grabby. Right, okay. Okay, until it cures a little bit. And then the next coat, because I'll do a second coat as well, mm -hmm. in about an hour, it'll get a little less. And then by the time I put on my um, my top coat, which is the fluorine topper, yes, it is so slick it's ridiculous. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing it with the, the fluorine. And is it the fluorine that's going to make it look a bit glossier as well? To be honest with you, my correction stage is what really creates all the gloss. Okay. Because, like I said, the flatter you get the paint, well, I'm, I'm the just... glossier and more depth you get. What the coatings are doing, they're definitely advancing the shine. Yep. Definitely. But we're looking more for the longevity of it, the durability of it, and when we'll see at the end, the, the performance of the water behaviour is just ridiculous. Right, that's what that top coat That's does. what we're looking forward to. And that's right. what I know you're looking forward to. Yes. Um, for me, I was fully expecting this to be as glossy after my steps. I'm, I see it all the time. Oh. I knew exactly how it was going to respond before I even started. How? Um, very just, know it all of you. Just experience. <laughs> I've done a lot of them. I um, oh, do. Yeah. I I'm, I'm guess I'm getting, I'm, just, I'm still blown away with how deep and wet look it is already. Yes. All right, look, I'll let you keep going. You've been doing it for a bit over an hour this morning. Well, actually, how long should the coating application take? The first, the first layer I'll put down, um, an hour after that, I'll put my second layer on. Yep. And then an hour after that, um, I'll be putting the third layer on and the job will be complete. Ooh. And that's including headlights, tail lights, and all glass work. It's pretty quick going. All right, we'll get some time lapse for them to watch you do your work. So JD's just finished the two, now I don't want to get this wrong for the camera, this is two layers of the ceramic protection. The Two layers of the base coat of the ceramic. Yep. And it's it's looking glossier again. Mm-hmm. It's had time to cure, so I'm about to do the third layer, which is a fluorine topper. Yes. Which is going to make it hyper slick. Now that's taken nearly two and a half hours to do that. So, and I guess a lot of that is well, cure time, and you have to... Yeah, it's, you, it takes me about, about an hour to, to lay a coat down. Yep. And by the time you get back around to the other car, the other side... You can go um, again. You can go again. So, about three hours, you can get it knocked over. And then there was a bit of a gap before you're going on to this stage, and we all come and had a big look at it. It's got guard flashes back in it. Not matching ones, which we'll get into in another video. <laughs> but, dude, I'm, I am super stoked. And this is the quickest step next. The final very quick. Coating. It's very easy because the, the paint um, surface is extremely smooth and makes it very easy for me to wipe on and wipe off. Well, we've done, well, I say we, JD's done it all. <laughs> I, I've watched. Uh, it's had the final coating and apparently it's going to be really slippery now. And it is. Not quite enough to fall off on its own. Dude, she's slick. Like from the first time you tested it. Now that's a completely different story. Yeah. Wow. That's so it's the sleepiness of that fluorine offers, and that's what's going to give you extra hydrophobic qualities when it comes to the behaviour of the water. Dude, it looks good. I think we need to get it out in the sun. Indeed, I think it's next. All right.
Well, here it is in the sun. I gotta say, it's much, so much more color in it than I realized. There's blues, reds, greens, black sapphires, a bloody nice color. Definitely got some depth to it. Oh, miss driving it. I'm very, very, very happy with it. I'll try and grab some photos with the, the good camera shortly. But Jesus Christ, it looks good. But JD put the effort in, that's amazing. Guys, I am so happy with it. Oh, gotta get fixed. So JD's just having a quick break, but he wants to show me actually going through the cleaning process and how he maintains well, his own cars and how he recommends his customers maintain them. Uh, and because we've got JB's 1M here, we're gonna give that a wash using JD's process and go through it. But luckily it's, it's really hot today and we've got a black car in the sun. So it's gonna be a bit of a tough wash, but let's go and have a crack at that. Okay, so this is the part where JD is going to show me what all his magic work actually results in when it comes to maintaining your car. So you've basically, you've got, I guess, a bit of a system you use to wash them. Yeah, well, if you're going to have a ceramic coating, the benefits, well, one of the biggest benefits is washing it. You're actually going to enjoy doing it for a change. So my little um, saying is I can wash and dry this car without touching it in 10 minutes. And that means no shimmying. So, um, Let's Interesting. Just, let's see the behavior of the water, I think. Um, this is JB's car. It's JB's fault that JD's here. There's too many J's and B's and D's. But this car was coated about a month or two months ago? Yes, two months. Um, and it's the same coating, the same sort of prep that's all gone on on my car. Yep. So this is what I should expect after my car's been in the wild. Now this car's driven up from the Gold Coast yesterday. Uh, we get tons of dust and dirt here. It actually doesn't look too bad. No. Things just don't stick to it. No, it doesn't. It's just, mainly this is the dust, and it was really dusty when we left yesterday afternoon. Yep. And just driving on the freeway, it's, it's just gone. Blows it off. So it's the hydrophobic quality um, of the coating is, is the fun part. And we've got a proper test, because it's lunchtime here, and it's a black car. In fact, I bet you can't even, yeah, okay. Right. It's a little hot, and I don't really recommend it in the sun, but um, I'm it's not gonna be got too to long. Pay. I'm right. not gonna be too long. So what's the first step? First step, we're gonna snow foam it. We'll let that dwell just for a couple of minutes. Yep. Now it's gonna gurney that off. And then I'm gonna do a, a new technique of flood rinsing. Okay. Okay, because it's all about beading and sheeting. So we want as, as less water on the car as possible. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna dry it. All right, well, I'm gonna watch you do all that work again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it. So this is, what technique do you call this? It's a flood rinse, get the sheets and get the beading calmed down so that more of the water to be removed from the car. Make it easier to dry. To be fair, there's not much left on it. No, that's correct. <laughs> that, the pressure washer did quite, quite effective. Wow. So you'll do this, which gets the majority of the water off and then do you just blow dry it? Or do you exactly still... What I do, I, you can use your um, leaf blower. I have a miniature version of that. Yep. And it's very effective. And it's only just getting the water out of the milks and crannies such as door handles. It is. If you do go slower. Yeah, you get even more. If you go slower, you, you can almost dry completely if you, you dry want to the really car creative, but... with water. Yes. People don't believe me, but it's very, very possible. <laughs> but the flood rinse step just speeds up the drying. That's what it really does. Gotcha. Well, I'm pretty, to be fair, considering you have not put a sponge on it, or, or a wash mitt or anything, that's... Well, we're at the step now where I'm just gonna blow dry it. Yep. Um, you know, even that flood rinse even works even more effective if you take off a little handle, because it, it does throw out a bit of bubble. Yes. Um, so the flood rinsing is very important. It's a matter of how long you take. I can make that completely dry if I wanted to. Okay. But let's get it dried off because I think I've only got three minutes left.
It was 10 minutes. I'll give it to you. Thank you. Well, it was under 10 minutes. And it looks like it's out of wash, but you didn't touch it. I'm still a bit confused. It's the high hydrophobic qualities that it offers. <laughs> Nothing wants to stick to it. And um, that flood rinse step um, just speeds up that process of drying. And the good thing is, you don't, when you jump in the car to take it for a drive, you're not going to get your shimmy residue marks that you see no, on windscreens because I haven't touched it. I didn't so, think about um, that. Okay, advantages. So, all right, look, I need to thank JD for coming up and doing my car and just making the trip in general, man. That's, um, I know it was a big ask, but I do appreciate it. And you're guaranteeing that my car is going to be like this. So in one month, when I go and wash Martin for the first time, mm -hmm. if it's not, you'll come back and do it again? Um, I'll add to that. <laughs> you can do it again in six and 12 months and I still think it will perform the same. Really? I'm that confident. Well, guys, there'll be a follow-up video when I watch it for the first time, and you'll see if he is a man of his word. Yep. Um, look, thank you very much again. We're going to end this video off here. It's huge. Really appreciate it, guys. Any questions about detailing? I know you're watching the videos, and you'll be in the comments. Yep. So hit us up below. But, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. My car is definitely getting spoilt. <laughs> I feel very lucky to, um, to have this community behind me. Encourage me to do it as well, but I really want to get it running again. I don't know. You probably don't matter, but uh, we need to go and break some records with that car. Indeed. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you the next one. Peace.